want to show you ahead of time, and I'm going to unbox for you what we're going to work on this week in Craft With Me Wednesday. So the box came uh, from China. I ordered it in um, late March, early April, and this is how it came. Yeah. So what is it? It is this gorgeous little, I, I'm calling it sort of a diorama. I do have one more on order that I'm going to be giving away once I get it. But this one, we're gonna do in Craft With Me Wednesday. So it comes with the diamonds. Uh, it comes with all of the little pieces and they're made out of this little plexiglass, like really well-made plexiglass. And I'll show you how we're gonna put that together. I'm going to, it's very hard to explain what this is. I need to flatten out my table so that we'll be able to do that. Okay. And then you, it comes with, you know, a toolkit, green boat, piece of wax, and a pink pen. It doesn't get any bearer than that, but that is really all you need to do the project. So I've got to get rid of the box that'll be over here. So let's look at the different pieces first. And this little horse has peeked his ugly head out of the top. So here's how it works. So this is the bottom part of the platform. So it kind of looks like the ground. So that's going to go there. Then you're, um, so there's no diamond painting on this. You are going to diamond paint the surface of this little cottage. And once you do, that will fit into, supposedly, it will go into here. I don't want to do it if I can't get it out. Oh, well, it, right now it has a piece of plastic over it. But um, I don't want to struggle with it until I'm ready to paint with it, obviously, and get it painted. Well, that, see, that wasn't bad. Okay, so it went in there. I just didn't want to break it. But these really are pretty sturdy um, pieces of plastic. Here is, oh, the plastic is coming off of this. Uh, no, just wait a minute. All right, no. Interesting. So I don't know what that plastic went to, but there is plastic on this piece. This is sort of one of the side pieces. And let me show you how thick it is. It's probably quarter inch thick plexiglass. So that's, oh, it goes this way. It's part of the floral seam there. So maybe I do need the box because I need to see how this goes. Okay, so this is sort of in the front. Once you get that painted or, yeah, I guess it goes in the front. Then you have, oh, look at the tree. Oh my God, the tree is adorable. There's the tree that goes in front of the house. That goes right here, I think. Oh no, no, I'm wrong. <laughs> the tree goes in the back of the house, silly me. Okay, so there's the tree. They're not put in here really, really well because I want to diamond paint them first. Then we have Oh goodness, look at this. Oh, how cute. There's a little flag that says the Bennett's Rose Petal Gift Shop. And you even get to diamond paint this. And that goes right here. So, oh my God, how cute. Now these are not two-sided like some of the keychains are. They are single-sided. But that's okay, because you're just going to look at it, you know, this way. There are a couple of unicorns. Look, they both have unicorn horns, and you diamond paint them. Oh, how beautiful. Now, where do they go? Okay, they go right up. I believe they go here. Yeah, right, right there. And then the last piece is another part of the fence. Yeah, another part of the fence. So 
So in Craft With Me Wednesday this week, we're gonna break this down. We are going to diamond paint it. I will, sh let's, we'll go through the diamonds, but look, so once you get it all in there, look how gorgeous that is. Isn't that amazing? Look at the tree in the back and the unicorns. So beautiful. Now, I think the one I ordered to give away is a different diorama. It's not this little rose petal shop, but holy moly, this is gonna be, it's beautiful without the diamonds, but let's take a look at the diamonds. Okay, we're gonna keep that there. Okay, so the first, I'm actually going to stand up because I wanna run these by the camera for you. Okay, so here are some special drills. And we want to get the camera to focus. These are large squares. And they go in the chimney of the house, of the little cottage there, the little cottage shop. These are like frost ABs right there. Look. Gorgeous. And we've got some earth tones going on here. Try to shake them. And the quality doesn't look too bad. They're flat on the bottom. There's some yellow. Here comes the tree colors, the green, the darker green. Oh, I like that color. And Eve, oh my goodness, look how pretty that is. Wow, that's gorgeous, this color here. I don't know that they have DMC on them. Let me just look. They do not, they have the kit number, but wow. Look at this blue, let's get, let's get it to focus. Gorgeous blue. Look at the yellow, and this is AB, I think, is it AB? Or is this just a regular yellow coating? I think that's just a, an acrylic drill with no coating. See, here you have crystal drills, and this is just a regular drill. So that's the difference there. Then you got, this is an AB drill. And it's really, the camera's not showing it, but it's really more pink um, than what you're seeing there. Now we're going back to crystal. <gasps> what? No, look at that. Oh my God, that just took my breath away. I love it. And the red, oh, I love crystals. And more ABs, some white ABs, or they may just be white, plain acrylic drills. No, they do have an, uh, they do have an iridescent coating on them. Okay, nice. Gorgeous, really gorgeous. So this will be a lot of fun. We're gonna do this in Craft With Me Wednesday. I'm going to take it apart for now. Let me hold it up so you can see it one more time. My little, I'm calling it a diorama. I, I don't know the name for it, but it came off of AliExpress. I will put the details and a link down in the description. It did take a while to get to me, but it is in perfect condition. It's ready to diamond paint. And we'll start that on Wednesday. So let's put these away. I hope you'll be able to join us. Um, this Wednesday, we're gonna be doing this little diorama thing. Uh, then the Wednesday following that, we will be getting our stitch along, our punch needle stitch along. So I've got mine ready to go. I know my collaboration partner Brian has his ready to go oh my god the unicorns do you not love the unicorns holy moly and then the flowers that are at the front and then the bottom that holds it all together once I get this done I'm gonna put it up on the shelf in the background of my um, craft room so that you'll see it Sometimes when I'm filming. Okay, so what I've done at this point, I've started to kit this up. 
so that when we get together on Wednesday, this part will already be done. Um, the drills, uh, they're all labeled with their symbols. So I'm putting them into the containers by symbol. And I'm almost done here. I had a wonderful little chat while all this was going on by myself, to myself. I was just chatting away. Um, unfortunately, I pressed the camera instead of the video camera. So I took a, a cute little picture of me kidding up that I can put right here, here. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know, only me, only me. So, But that's all right, you didn't wanna see all this kidding up anyway and hear my chitter chatter. What I was, one of the things I was talking about was my, uh, with, was Treasure Studios Arts. Uh, you know, I'm obsessed with Treasure Studios Arts. I'm obsessed with my Cheshire Cat. I think it turned out brilliant. Um, so Treasure Studios Arts this week is coming out with another, two more Anthony Crusto's. One more in the Alice in Wonderland series. I think, I'm not positive, but I think it might be the Mad Hatter. I hope, I don't know for sure, but whatever it is, I'm going to get it and I'm going to do it. And then the other thing that's coming out this week is his Halloween photo or painting, which guys is amazing. Oh, yeah. I haven't decided what I want to do for a Halloween this year. I'm doing painting wise. I am doing a collab with um, another creator in the community. Oh, uh, come on, get this on here right. <laughs> but, um, and there is going to be a painting associated with that. So I'm not sure if I'm going to get the Anthony Cristo Halloween painting. Um, and I still have that painting that I did last year, started last year, The Witch's House, which at that point, I, I was so blown away by, not, I don't know, blown away is the correct terminology, but I was... scared off, I guess, because uh, my, when I started it, it was like, holy cow confetti. And I just went, wow, 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 wow. Um, and I put it away. <laughs> so I think at this point, I'm not so intimidated by confetti that I may, I may get it out again. I almost gave it away to someone else to do. That's how intimidated I was with that. But it's a gorgeous canvas. Um, and I would like to do it. So, so we're putting the last one in here. Um, if you guys have plans already for Halloween, that's great. If you don't, hold off for a few more weeks. There are, between now and I'd say the first week in September, there are going to be some great Halloween canvases coming out from some of the better companies. So just kind of hang in there and um, see if there's something that speaks to you and then get your Halloween project, both for my collab with the, the other creator and for Drills and Chills 2020, which, yay, that's always so much fun. So I'm done kidding up. All right, we're, this is the project for Craft With Me Wednesday. I hope you enjoyed this brief little whip and chat, brief kidding up. And that I see you on Wednesday so we can do my little diorama. So thanks, guys, everybody. The journey continues. Take care.